happy. You're a big pushover. You need to calm down. Yeah, I know. I remember time. calling you out. Quiet time and calm I remember down thinking about that. You guys, we have to calm down. It's time to calm down. I mean, nothing much is happening here. The dad, I'll be honest, reminds me of something that you use in the kitchen. Mr. Clean. I do believe that is Mr. Clean, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of his product. Oh, I mean, nothing much is happening here, is it? Who's stepping up? You thought your phone broke? Oh, crap. You uh -oh. and I are going to have it out here in about five seconds. You were trying to give me crap. I've got from one extreme to the next. A lot of times, I'll be way too overly excessive with the kids because half the time when I come home tired, the kids are kind of out of control and running the show. Give me your phone. You yes, you, you did. Yeah, you're you're acting like a dork right now. Please, give me. Wow, give me dad your hit her with a dork. I don't like that. I mean, you call it a dork, man. That's a real jerk. Stop. That's a real tough thing to come back from. Yeah. You know what? Give me your phone. Give me your phone. I don't feel like the kids really respect each other. Let alone us. I hit the phone from her and she found it. Wow, her. hold on. Let alone us. Phone check, I chat. Has anybody ever owned this phone? Does anybody know what this phone is? I will say I'm pretty sure I remember this phone. I'm just I'm 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 definitely remembering it. It is a classic. This is probably ten years old. I feel like my my aunt had this, but like even years later. You had this phone, Erica? This this makes me feel very old. I will say, chat, we're getting old, huh? I guess that's how time works. The phone from her and she found it. Get off of me, lady. You know what? Stop arguing with me. I'm Get off mom. of me, lady. Oh, everyone's fed up here, aren't they? I mean, let's face it. I'm on the brink of letting them You're having a good day at work. I got you. Up. This Thank is you the for critical chatting. time because you're kind of getting to the point of no return as the kids start moving into teenage years. Into teenage years. If this doesn't work, Super Nanny, we need your help. Oh, no, no. This doesn't no return. Isabel, thank you so much for the three months. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. I appreciate that. Years. Now the dad yes. here, by the way. If this doesn't work, I think he was about to cry here, and they cut it. He's <laughs> like, if this doesn't work. What were you about to say here? Super. Why'd they cut so hard there? Like, if this doesn't work, and then it goes, Super Nanny. That's stressing, chat. doesn't Chad. work. That is a man right there going through it. That is a man going through it. This isn't even funny, but this song just, I feel like this song would be funny. Makes no sense, but I'm, for some reason, playing this song over anybody is very funny. Yeah, I don't even know why it's funny. But... All right. Super nanny, we need your help. We oh, need dear. your help. We've got some work to do, right? Dad, keep a lid on that temper, and Mum, get ready. Amanda, We're thank you for the work. dollar. I'll see you both soon. Hope you have a good day at work today. Thank you for popping in and chilling. Hello. Hi, pleased to meet you. How are you? Can I come in? When Joe first arrived, of course, I was a little intimidated. She's very knowledgeable. House very looks big from the hallway. This is Avery. <laughs> Hi, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Kendall. Hello. Hi, Kendall. Joe, you're all right. Kesley. Hi, Kesley. Pleased to meet you. When I first walked in to meet the Miller family, I was received by a huge clan. And then very quickly, they went off, and I saw what it was like raising six kids day in and day out. <laughs> for a couple days, I had to watch four dogs here, and that was a struggle. That's pretty hard sometimes. Six kids. The first thing that I, I noticed need, like, the military was Avery to help asking me. for a bottle. <laughs> and Mum didn't stick to her guns at all. One sip, and then we'll, we'll, we'll give you the bottle. Here, take it. Come on. Kind of sounds like a if duck. If I give you the bottle right now, will you try this later? I'll give you a bottle if you try this later. I'm not trying it later. You, you're going to try it later. Okay. When mom gave me to Not Avery, happy, Joe. Not, not happy. Pushover. And our kids know it. Joe does not like a pushover, Mom. Mom and Dad had that Yeah, a gremlin, so a duck. to look around the house. We've got a sodden diapers. Soil diapers on the carpet? Bruh. Yeah, I mean, it just... 
Damn. It's on the carpet, man. And I realized they're not organized at all. You walk through every room, there's just clothes everywhere, over every piece of furniture. Jesus. Seriously, it might as well be coming out of the walls. This is the game room. Game room. Looks more like a laundry room at the moment, Ainsley. Girl's <laughs> already being very funny. As she is. It's in place at all. You can't have this many kids and that persistent in place. What's this? That used to be one of our chore charts. We had different chores that they had to do. and whatever. From what I gather, this family have tried nice. a whole heap of chores. Don't worry, she is going to come with a worked. bunch of tactics, as we know. Really, we're looking at Miss Joe always comes work, with right? the stuff. She always if has the sauce. If mom and dad were having a problem with Free, thank you for the first time charts, sub. Then what hope did they have with following I really appreciate discipline? that. Thank you for chatting and thank you for subscribing. Yes. She was working on it first, honey. I think you need to give it Joe back. Joe Frost. Landon, that's my home. Jonathan. If you're going to treat it nice. She's the goat. Landon. It's my home. Landon, you're not the dad or the mother. Mum was letting the kids run riot. I mean, she had no control whatsoever. I'm not going to fight you for the page. Ainsley, this is Landon's room. Why don't we ask if he can come in his room first? You don't need to wrestle her down, Landon. Okay, Mommy will take care of it. Landon, stop like, being nope, the I'm dad. going to be Here, I'll close my door. I'll close my door. Mom's telling Landon not to be the dad and that she can take care of it, but quite clearly she's shown the kids that she doesn't take care of things. Beautiful sky what? transition. It's so hard with you loading the dishwasher. Since Mum does nothing when it comes to discipline, it always ends up in Dad's lap. And sometimes he goes overboard. Go over there and at least start it. Go at least start it. Go sit down and try. The kids get on my nerves pretty quickly. Go look at your bed. Why are you? I'm, 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 I'm understanding the dad's stress here. If this man's working 80 hours a week and then has to do a lot in the house like this, it's dad could see that being a lot in your bed. I asked you to put them away. You get to a point of exasperation where you just you want your kids to listen to you. Come on. I need you to come upstairs, and they don't, and you tell them again, and they don't, and again, and again. What do you mean you don't care? Are you going to talk to me like that? <laughs> We're done. We're done. Then there You're are done. moments when you can let it get to you. A year you think done. this is funny? I love his landing strip on his beard. Wow, you know what? You, it what is a landing strip. Wow. I'll tell you what. That is, now that you pointed it out, <laughs> that is an interesting choice by him. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't really truly look at it. I'm I'm not gonna lie. At first chat, I did think it might have been a mole, because it's a little not it's not very HD. We're in back in the day. We're in SD here, and I thought it was a mole. I didn't want to say anything. But now that I'm aware that it's not a mole and it is not poop or chocolate and it is in fact facial hair. And again, and then they don't. And again, and or again. is it not, chat? I still don't know. Again, what you whatever it is. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. What do you mean you don't care? Or you can let it get to you. You think this is funny? It could Kesley, be poop, yeah. Lately with the, teenage with thing the diapers on the ground. What's the teenage thing? Major thing is the texting. Right. Because it's all the time. I had quite a frank conversation with mum later on in the day about Kesley. I don't think it's the fact that her daughter texts. I've, I've never heard someone named Kesley texting. before. She's so sidetracked with it. She's so boy crazy. She's texting three boys at one time that like her. But sometimes I worry. Like, Damn, Kesley. She got three boyfriends. Bruh. But the boy stuff. What is it you're, what you're actually really worried about? Kesley's running boy. that well, school. I'm afraid of them. Getting in with the getting boys. Getting in trouble. Going over the edge. Going over the edge, yeah. Clearly, mom and dad, I've got a problem with giving Kesley some freedom. Yeah, and she's I the Rizzler, man. She thought about it. The hell? What are the things that you would like to do? I never get to hang out with my friends, like, ever. And that they specified reasons why? Mm -mm, not really. Have you broke their trust? I don't know. I haven't done anything that I know of. Right. Have you earned their trust? Mm-hmm. Uh, in what ways? I don't know. I'm a straight A student. Okay. I just am always helping out. When our mom and dad go on a trip, she'll have to babysit. Ah, so Kesley's doing a lot of work. I Hawaii, and my dad was at work one whole week, and I had to stay home and watch and babysit. And babysit. So she went on holiday. Not to interrupt this moment because it's a nice little moment, but man, Joe Frost has like probably a hundred k on her ear right there. If that's a diamond, that thing is holding 
her e- pulling her ear down, it's so heavy. That's got to be at least a hundred thou. She left for you with all the kids mm-hmm. to look after during the day. Mm-hmm. My dad will be here during the day, but then right now. I know Super Nanny was paying well. Allie, how you doing? And then I'll just have to babysit everyone until the next morning. So you have them overnight. All right, we'll mm-hmm. see you, Janie. I'm quite dumbfounded soon. that this young teenager has been given the responsibility to look after her younger siblings overnight. Yet this is the same young girl who a can't lot of go older the siblings be dropped off. Usually do look the after the younger siblings, and it's it's almost like they become a parent. Tell it's like a, it's, it's almost like a forced eat. thing without a, Girls, without realizing it. This, can you go get everybody and tell them it's time for dinner? Landon, come here and stop walking in circles. Help me pick what you want. You guys, come on. When dinner's going to be served, the kids gather together for prayers. Who's going to say prayer? It's Marin's turn. You said it yesterday. And then it's mayhem. It's What's up, Jackie? Gosh, we are not going to fight over who's going to say the prayer. Landon, stop getting physical and he just pinched her, David. Wait, this is kind of overload right now. Can the daughter just texting just is a second? meme because you know what? I get Landon. it. Landon, let go. Why do they all sound like little duck gremlins when they're sad? What's going on with this family? Landon, let go. I didn't get one word out of Landon there. I'm not going to lie. I didn't get one single word. Let me try to get one Landon, word. Landon, let go. I don't like this world. <laughs> hey, neither do I, Landon. Neither does any of us, okay? But we're stuck here together. Landon, you're being a little brat right now. Let's go. You're being a little bitch. Daddy. No. Mm-mm. The deal is after dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No coloring until you're done with your dinner. Where is those coloring bad waffles? No, stop. But Sit down and eat your dinner. What's Michelle doing? When she was printing off some stuff for them. To oh, get. hold on. I didn't know Savage was uh in the show. Sit down and eat your dinner. Fellow Camboy Savage standing on top of chairs. What's Michelle doing? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She was printing off some stuff for them to color. They want the kids to sit down and have dinner, and yet mom's on the computer making all of these printouts for the kids. I love to how in. big computers yet, used to be. Mom's on the computer. Look how big the printer is. Look, I gotta scroll down. This printer probably weighed 155 pounds. It's the size of a, a small washing machine. And then this computer, you needed like 19 inches of desk space just for the computer. We've come a long way. Just look how just bulky and big, like you could genuinely injure a small group of people with just just throwing this at them. Computer making all of these printouts for the kids to color in, and Dad's banging his head on a brick wall to try and get the kids to sit down and eat. I'm a little bit confused here. How does it? Yeah, work those probably make the, the room so hot. And trying to get them at the table to sit down and eat before doing the color. One brother, Alana. I guess I wasn't thinking. Ainsley was done eating, and so we came no, in. No, he's still then... eating. So, see, I didn't know that. And Landon just ended up following in. And so that's what's going on. I usually, yeah. So it's just crazy. I guess it didn't work out. If mum is to remain on task, then she needs to stop being sidetracked by her kids and focus more. That is a large house. They've definitely done something right. Can I say goodbye to you all as a family um, and just say I look forward to having a family meeting? with the pair of you so that we can knuckle down and uh, talk about what we need to do, yeah? Okay. All right, kids, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> There's going to be a little bit of a challenge here for My wife and I are going to be crucified tomorrow. Well, you better Both be crucified for that soul really patch. need to step up because up until now, I've just had excuses and uh, oh, I'm yeah, not accepting nice excuses. Homes, a big homes. So let's talk about discipline. I'll say that again, discipline. Okay. Here we go again. Let's talk about discipline. I'll say that again, discipline. The fake fruit again. I just hate it. It's been months since we've had to see fake fruit. Once again, if I'm going to a house and I see fake, it's like, I want, you know, what's the point? If you can't eat it, what's the point? Look at that apple down there, bottom left. What's the point? 
And then I don't even want to talk about how offline that's the, it's just not centered again. They do whoever stages these does it on purpose. So I am disgusted by the way that it's not centered. It's very crooked. It's actually making me miserable. I'm going to keep going. Okay, where is it? We don't really have, you know, we both decided. One minute's one thing and the next it's something other. Right. The pair of you together have not established what's appropriate discipline for our 13-year-old, what's appropriate discipline for our toddlers and those in between. You haven't discussed that together. Not really. We haven't so, discussed much I love when she says, together. Now that I'm listening to you. I mean, what happened? The two of you met, you decided you were going to marry and have six kids, and then you stopped talking. <laughs> like, what happened? It's crazy. So who gives the warnings in the house? It's decor. Well, it depends. Yeah, but just get better decor wine. than a fake Call apple. Dad, you know, that's, that's about it. Or just buy a You're couple of real apples and throw them there every pass couple the weeks. Buck onto dad then you're basically saying that what you have to say and your empty threats ain't worth nothing. And then guess who becomes bad cop? And is that fair? It's not fair. And then that puts you in a situation where you lose your call and then you start to shout and yell and then the kids only respond to when you shout and you yell. Yeah, just a big ogre. Let's talk about Kesley. Big ogre, is Shrek still in the chat? This is your time. What's up, Nicole? I heard you both say, well, we trust Kesley, but your actions don't show that you really trust her. How is it okay for your 13-year-old to look after her younger siblings overnight while you're working night shift and you're off in another state? How is that okay? Yet to drop her off at a movie at three in the afternoon with a couple of friends and then pick her up is not acceptable. She's got braces. Yeah, shout out to her. Don't have braces because when I was don't trust 20. Her, what do you think it does for her? When I got braces? It decreases her self esteem. Great. Makes sense. You hold them so tight. You love them, you end up losing them because they fight to get away. The looser the hand, the tighter the grip. Right. Let's talk about house chores. These kids have got so much leeway between the pair of you. Why would they do it? Why would they do it when good old mum will just clean it all up, take care of it, and eventually get it done? Why? They don't have to. I know, you're right. But you're teaching them to be lazy. Mm. You've got a big enough family where you can put, you know, systems in place where you, more hands, the merrier. Hello, Lana. Yeah. You've got to change the I know he smirks think. a lot. I've been noticing that. I don't know why he keeps smirking. Maybe it's maybe it's like he's nervous or something. Your I don't know, but there's a lot of smirks and there. your actions that follow. And I can help you do that, but how badly do you want it? It's my number one priority right now. Yourself, David? More than anything. Okay. So I'm so, not going to Okay, so first rule, okay, what we're going to do, shave that little poop thing off of your chin. I'm going to tell you that it's going to be easy because it's not. It's going to be challenging. But you know what you're going to do? You're going to push through it together. Thank you very much. All right, Joe. We got, we got it. We're ready. It's certainly what was that noise? Why that noise? Why'd they put that noise in there? A guitar riff that scared me a little it bit. It certainly is important for these kids to be taken once on again. What's a, what a nice in house. The house and all mucking in to do their bit. Here we so go. I love when Joe shows her stuff. Buddy that sounded wrong. When she, you know, her charts and graphs and she does like adorable things. We'll find out. There are chores here. Look at this. Come on, man. She's so good. Look at that. That's like something you would see at a store. You know, she always does. She always comes correct, man. This looks like something you would see, you know, at a Wegmans in the in the, in the cleaning aisle. The I think making them chores fun. That's what I'm saying. Kendall. Yeah, it's Kendall, Arizona. Kesley and Marin. You're more than capable. When dad works 80 hours a week, they should. Have, that's I a great point. No, that the man's working like 100 hours a week. Because Avery's three years old, so a little bit too young, and Ainsley's five years old, so she can help out every now and then. You have been divided into two teams. The purple team is Kendall and Langdon. Let's hear it for the purple team. All right. We're very excited. And the Kesley team thing is Marin. super smart. And the green team. Let's hear it for the green team. You're going to be wearing. Yes, Beth. Changes it per style. Your colors. How she's feeling. Catch. 
Mum and Dad are going to place this board up so that everybody can board. see it. All right, guys. So, team purple and green, take a look at your board. Have a look at what you got. Like a board. I'm going to replay it two times. So, team purple and green, take a look at your board. There's something so great about it. One more. All right, guys. So, I guess if you spelled it, yeah, it would be like. Maybe this board, 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 board. Well, I don't even know. How would you spell that? Bowed? But then I would say it would be like bold. Bold. Team purple and green. Take a look at your bold. Bold. Oh, it'd be like this. It's a lot of O's. So it'd be like B O O O O W D. Like that. Bold. Have a look at what you got and let's get busy. Get busy with the bold. Initially, both Bold. teams were really fired up about doing chores, and then Landon started to lose heart. Uh-oh. Are you going to help? What I want is a new chore buddy, because I see my sister Mary and Kessie work together. They get the job She wants really off the team, and I don't blame her. Landon's looking a little crazy You're right now. You're on the team, Landon. Get off the horse. Hey, Sarah. And fold clothes. Get off the horse. This man is on a... <laughs> this man's on an amusement park horse. While his sister is folding laundry. See? This is like when you're in a, a school project and you do 99% of the work and then the dude that does nothing gets the same grade as you and you're like, he was on a horse the whole time and I was doing laundry. Working, maybe stuck with someone else. Landon, get off the horse. Landon's about to go save Texas. You know what? I'll tell you why. Because you're going to get in trouble. Now I'm not. Wow, dad, there you go. Oh. Landon, get over here. Even I'm not uh, scared of the dad. You know, like you're supposed to be, you should be like, whoa. Landon, I'm not even playing this game with nope. you right now. It's this is your chore time. Something rather than dumb clones. Landon, you know what? This is what was. They gotta have a different job. I felt that Dad wouldn't know how to speak to Landon appropriately and would make things worse. So I stepped up to show Dad. Here we go. How time to, to show him how to do it. In this situation, everybody's got their responsibilities. Dad's got a list of things he needs to do. Mum has a list of things that she needs to do every day. Don't dig your heels in and refuse to do it. Let's get it done so that the two of you can get a lot of work done here. This is about all of us doing things together. And if you don't choose to do the chores together with Kendall, then you're actually going to be losing out on doing things that the rest of the family are going to be doing. Okay, give them a little bit of FOMO. Sure he's like, enough, he's like, the I calm, bet. rational approach to Landon worked. And he was very motivated when he realized that he may lose a few points. I like how she'll word things like she doesn't want to put down the dad, but she'll be like, sure enough, being calm and assertive did something. It's like, she, you know, she's, she's a little like nice jab in a sense. Like, who would have thought? Along the way. You would have got a chonko yeah, thrown at you? It's from working as a team and doing their chores. Not only is it helping me because I don't have to do it and I don't have to I do like that every time I see the dad, course. which for some reason I can't remember his name, Not he always has a really cool, shiny, like shiny spot of his head at, in different parts of the angle. Like that is a very, very shiny bald head. The point where I would assume that maybe day, the day before he might have put some gloss on it or something, maybe some sort of, what's the stuff you put on a painting that's expensive, you know? Maybe he put some of that on there. I don't know what. Resin? Yeah, maybe a little resin on the head. You know, just for good for good, good measure. Helping me because I don't have to do it and I don't have to fight with him to do it. But it gives them all a sense of accomplishment. It was a total stress off my back. Nice. Like a good before and after. Mom, <laughs> That's the, yeah, true. Using Mr. Clean Prox himself. It's because mum never does discipline. And then dad always feels like the bad cop. So I wanted to show them both how to do a timeout properly. Okay, and explain again for a second time why they're now in timeout. It wasn't long before Landon put Mum to the test, but she was far too patient with all his shenanigans. Landon is absolutely the little gremlin little of the group. Right now, with your outburst about this, off the counter, Landon. Landon. Now I'm giving you a warning if you don't get off Landon. the counter. <laughs> Landon, do not I'll tell you what, I was now wouldn't really be caught dead on a counter in my kitchen out. when I was younger. I really no had shot. To force this issue for her to recognize the importance of following through with Landon. When he does things that you blatantly know are being disrespectful 
How many excuses can you give him before you decide, right, I'm going to give him a timeout? Let him know. Okay. Yeah. He's going timeout right now. Oh, okay. Look at this. She said, okay, Joe Frost, let me show you something. Right, I'm going to give him a timeout. Let me show you who I really am. My name is Karen. I don't know what it is. That's, I don't know. You need to go in timeout right now. Look at that. Explain why. Explain why. I grabbed you're eight. Timeout because I agree. You've been misbehaving. I've given you your warning, and now it's time for you to be in timeout. Landon gave her a run for her money because he kept getting up uh -oh, from that timeout. Oh, here he goes. Come timer on. Timeout doesn't start until you mom, you're, timeout. Your mom, you're talking too much. In the time it doesn't start, I walk in. It was horrible for me. I felt like it was never ending, and he was playing games with me. <laughs> He's a, he's a real scooter. Like he scoots on his butt. I can't do this. Slides it's away. So hard not to cry. And even right now. Oh, no. Okay, maybe this didn't go great. Okay, I thought this was going to go well. It started off well. Now there's tears. Wait until he goes back. No, uh -oh, he's back to it. It's not cat and mouse. So she's like, let him sit there. He's in a spot where he's going to play cat and mouse with you forever. So I went and sat down. Gave a few minutes. He basically is putting himself in timeout to anyway there, so. Me. Like, he wanted me to get up and chase him, and I didn't. There's only one person who's in control and charge here, and that's you. And he needs to know that. So it means you need to feel it. Very firmly walk over to him, and you're going to say to him, you need to be in timeout right now. If you do not listen to me, trust me, you will be going to bed early tonight. There we go. You're going to mean what you say. Landon, you are going to go into timeout right now. For tonight, you're going to go to bed very, very early. Oh, Landon said, no, ma'am. He said, this is my house. This is my house. Are you always this pathetic? Landon was still being very resistant. He don't In give the a end, shit. He went back to that timeout spot and he did his time. Okay. I was amazed. I didn't think he was going to do it. I honestly didn't think he was going to do it. All right, Landon, good for you. In the end, the timeout got done, but Mum's still a little bit ropey when it comes to handling the technique. There's still more work to be done. With Mum now learning how to be more firm, I love a good I wanted cactus, to teach you know? Dad how to be a lot softer in his approach with the children. However, Kendall did something that pushed Dad over the edge. Okay, what did Kendall do? Let's see. Hmm. Kendall crashed his car. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh! Sorry. Damn! Oh, no, poor... Oh, man. Right to the face. I'll replay it for you. Here we go. Ready? Over the edge. Uh, Take a look. Okay. Innocent to the right. Uh, Damn. Sorry. Sorry. Instant tears. It's fine. She said no. You know what? Give me the damn... Oh, man. That's probably good. That's a good thumbnail right there. Ball. Go to your room. Go to your Why room. Why is Landon you know crying? Land, you got Landon there crying. Give me the damn. You got Susie crying. Ball. Go to your room. Go to your room. You don't do stuff like that. That was really stupid. Come on, man. This is freaking ridiculous. I followed Dad upstairs, and I was shocked at how he handled this situation. Now, what was that all about? And you totally smash her in the face with a ball and make her hit her head. Sit down. He's locking in. Now that was just a crappy thing to do. Why would you hit your sister like that? Why? I don't know. Cause why she would lied? you? Of course, Lam pulled my hair for no reason. You don't care. You guys are sitting there fighting. I pulled you both apart. You didn't bring him up to his room. He did it for no reason. You know what? You have to admit what you did was worse. And you hurt your sister. There was no apology, no nothing. You did it like you didn't even care. Landon said not sorry either. We will deal with that. Landon is the scape. Everyone him. blames right Landon. Dealing with you. Everyone throws shade like on Landon. I don't like this smart-ass attitude. Wow. And then wow. I started to become very emotional because Dad was coming down so hard on her. I think you need to apologize to I Mary. <laughs> because Dad was coming down so hard on her. <laughs> I love seeing Joe. Joe like kind of creep into the background. Oh, it's kind of hella funny when you spot her just kind of in the in the distance like lurking in the closet or in the hallway and she's just like, "Yes. Yes." <laughs> oh, it's such a funny shot.
You need to apologize to Marin. She's lurking, bro. She's straight I'll give up you five lurking. Minutes, okay. All right. I, I agree, sweet potato. You got to handle it. six kids in. You got. I thought you think you'd have this down to maybe door. a science. Well, I was yelling at Kendall. What happened? I have no idea. I realized at that point that I didn't know how to talk to my kids without yelling. See, Joe didn't have to say anything. He said two words. After Kendall hit Merrin in the face with a ball, Dad completely lost it with Kendall. I don't like this smart-ass attitude. So I gave him an example of how he should have spoke to her. You're going to stand right here. I really need to talk to you right now. At first, I was like, oh, great, Joe's going to talk to me now. I'm really not happy. Girl, they got the dad standing out there. The roles are reversed. With the way that you just behaved downstairs. I'll be honest, too. I didn't think that went that bad with the dad. I know he was a little harsh, but I do believe that if they're fo like, he at least was disciplining. I'll, I'll say that, like, I didn't watch that and go, like, wow, he's, you know, I don't know. I, I thought it, I thought it was maybe a little too harsh. She's, she's young, but. At least, you know, she did throw something at her sister's head. Like, you, you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta let them know it's not okay. And I actually felt very angry as well by what you did. But then she was not yelling. She was talking really and It's pretty clear that the uh, not yelling is working. Like so that, that's why she is what that the will show. Do to somebody else. Because that kind of behavior is somebody else, right? Thank you for the two months prime. When your dad's feeling angry with what he's Always appreciate the prime subs. You think Thank you very much for using it on me, Jazzy Garden. You feel that you I appreciate you a lot. Like you're talking to me right now. Like if he doesn't yell at me that much and he talks to me normal. Right. There you me, go. Like you Let's I see. Look at the shiny spot, chat. You could spot it from a mile away. Me that much and he talks to me normal. I love it. Right. It's kind of like a lighthouse. You know, any if you ever need to spot. In the dark, in the distance, you always see that shiny spot on the head. You know, which I think is cool. You mean like you and I having a conversation now? Yeah, like... That was kind of a creepy shot, though, He doesn't do that. He yells. And how does that make you feel? It makes me feel pretty sad. Like, he doesn't really like me, that he likes everybody else better, because he usually talks to them and yells at me. We're getting the truth now. Here you go. Joe always gets the truth out of, the, out of everyone. An apology, and who do you think that person may be? And Joe's good at this, huh? Let me see better, okay? Maybe there's a reason she has better. the show. He saw the difference straight away, and he realized that what was important was for him to have more self-discipline over his temper and to respond to situations that happen with the kids rather than to react and fly off the handle. But I still wanted to make one That's more... That's a lot of color. Wow. That's a lot of color. That is what I'm going to go with maybe uh, on the left teal and then i'm gonna go with purple and then i'm gonna go with lime green i feel like i i feel like i got that one right because they're pretty contrasted no i'm not right if not i'm just gonna hit play point with dad if you open up they'll open. that is not teal on the left not in the middle on the left here where my mouse is this i see that as teal that's white impossible I'm going to hold up this bottle of water. Whoa, wait. All right. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to move on. I'm not I'm not even going to I'm not even going to talk about it. Something's wrong with my brain. Otherwise, they're not going to come to you for anything. They're going to be worried about how okay, you react. Okay. Now it's Don't more you, white. Don't you father want to be able to connect with your girls on some level? I do. Something's wrong with you me. You lay down a very important foundation for these girls because the first male role model in their life is you. At least I got the and purple if right. Dad doesn't give him attention, and if their dad doesn't make him feel special, guess what? They'll look for someone who does. Oh, then that's a fact. So, what's the first step in fixing this? I apologizing. You know Show your kid by example. Showing your emotions and your soft side is not a weakness. It's a strength. The way You're Bambi's right. sleeping right now is adorable. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to see, but her right foot is in the air. Her head is on the left side of the bed. Let me see if I can walk over and we can get a good angle here. Man, 
Oh. Bambi got a little sick last night. So she's doing much better today. So showing her extra lovings. <clears throat> We're about to learn that. Okay. Dad knew what he Just a quick time check. We now. got about 14 but minutes left in the episode chat. Kendall? That was the question. Can you come talk to me for a bit? Please. Is she bleeding? I'm not going to yell at you. I was really wrong in the way I treated you. I'm sorry. Oh shit! Okay, I thought I thought this was the 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 daughter that got hit with the ball. I thought she had a like a, I thought she was bleeding from it. It's like wow, what was on that volleyball? I know I yelled way too much. You did make me really angry with the way that you treated Marin, and I was really disappointed. Ooh, disappointed is a tough one, me. chat. But we I'm all sorry. know how it's. If anyone anyone ever says they're disappointed in you, it's like. Well, that's the worst ever to be said about anything. No, I love you. Can I have a hug? After he said sorry for yelling at me, I felt pretty happy. Good. I, I like you, that. Honey. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Okay. Okay. You know who he looks like, the dad? Sorry for yelling at you. Do you, do you guys know the comedian Bill Burr, by chance? Okay. I'm getting some Bill Burr face vibes. Okay. Um... Just kind of looks like Bill Burr. I don't know how to describe that, but I would say he has a Bill Burr vibe. Na, 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 na. Bam. I thought I was a great dad, but listening to my daughter tell Joe that she was afraid of me. No child should ever be afraid of their parents. True. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Dad has resolved issues with Kendall, but Mum and Dad still have a trust issue when it comes to dealing with their 13-year-old daughter, Duncan. Kesley. So I took all three of them aside and asked Kesley to be honest about how she was feeling. Well, sometimes I feel like you guys don't trust me when I go out with friends to, like, not just friends' houses, but, like, bigger places, like the mall and stuff, because at the mall, I've never been able to go off by myself. Okay, well, we can change that. If your homework's done and you've done your chores, we have no problem letting you go out to the mall with your friends. You're asking your parents to, like, trust you more. So what can you come to the table with so that also, they can... Also, Chad, I want to show you something that's pretty upsetting. I've looked at my phone four times. This last email I got, I uploaded the first um, video for the Hell's Kitchen series that we started. And... It immediately got a copyright strike, a claim. So I said, after reviewing uh, your dispute, Adrev Affiliate has decided that their copyright claim is still valid, which means that sucks for that. So I will, oh, I will continue to watch Hell's Kitchen. I mean, uh, Kitchen Nightmare on stream, no problem. But it's looking like they are going to not allow us to post them on YouTube, which is a real bummer. But this is. There you go. Wonderful stuff. I never understand why the companies do this because we would then be promoting their show and it's I don't really understand it. It's commentary. So that sucks. That's annoying. That's why I looked at my phone. I was pissed off. Um, but I will try to figure it out. Maybe I can counterclaim the counterclaim counterclaim. You to a promise as well. Also but once again, once again, once again, we will not stop watching them on stream, right? Don't worry, we will continue. Or my day of studying. Okay, that's good. That's a commitment. I'm willing to let you do these things. Don't blow it. What yeah. is it that you're fearful of? Just letting go. The fear comes from Kesley being robbed of what? Virginia. Uh, but not Super Nanny, by the way. This is not Super Nanny does not copyright strike. Super Nanny, we were happy with. Kitchen Nightmare, copyrighted. But whatever, I'm still going to watch it on stream because it's different on YouTube than Twitch. You know, I... Guess he's there. Guess he's Hi. <laughs> we're willing to kind of cut the strings a little bit. And it's hard. I don't even know. The fear comes from Kesley being robbed of what? Virginia. 
Oh, wait. What? Wait, why? I didn't even listen to, like, what he was saying there, to be honest. Bruh. And then I looked at the chat, and y'all were, like, saying, what? Dude, what? I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he means virginity in the sense of, like, I don't know. I don't know if you could come up with anything to. Come on, man. That's uh, bizarre. What? So what is what? Her innocence. Okay, maybe you could have started with that. But maybe not the virgin. Maybe you don't start with you don't say the virginity thing. Oh my God! Are you always this pathetic? Okay, yeah, the the. Mom not thrilled about that one. You could tell Joe certainly not thrilled with that one. Um, yeah, that's very bizarre. Come on, man. You know, I... Kiss me there. Kiss me. Hi. <laughs> We're willing to kind of cut the strings a little bit. And it's hard. That's weird as hell, you. dude. I can't really, uh, can't really get over that one. <laughs> to be honest, that's very bizarre. Right, Mandy? She just wants to hang out at the Apple store. Like, relax. I used to go to the mall. I know you guys, I went to the mall a thousand times when I was younger. Nothing ever happened besides me ex acting like I was going to buy something at GameStop and then not buying it. That's really what happened. And then I'd buy an Auntie Anne's pretzel or I'd get a Rita's water ice. That was 97% of my time at the mall. Mom and I love you. It was very emotional seeing David open up to his daughter. Also, you know what could kind of be cool? I keep going off topic, but the silver lining is if, like, let's say I can't post any of the VODs for Kitchen Nightmares. Well, then it kind of becomes an exclusive for stream. Janie, that was net. Thank you for that, because that was a stressful couple emails I just got. Thank you for us with great content. Thank Sending you. lots of good energy and positive vibes. I was stressed getting that email, I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I think it's it'll it'll be all right because either way we will have a stream exclusive in a sense. So people from the VOD channel will gotta come on over and be like, man, we gotta get these streams then because we're not gonna get this content. Janie, thank you for the fifty five fifty five. That is so nice as always. Thank you very freaking much. Definitely uh a much needed energy change there for a second because that yeah, was number one from from Bill Burr talking about the virginity thing to the copyright stuff. That was a, that was a lot to be hit with in three minutes. Thank you, Janie. Thank you for the energy switch. I need it. And opening his heart to her, because I don't think he's ever done that, made Kesley realize my dad really does care. We want what's best for you. Just... The boy thing is already here. Just... Dad just has to go buy a shotgun. Yeah, we could, that could, we right. could figure something out, Sammy. There's got to be a way to just It's tough then. to let go. It's good content. But... She's my little girl. Maybe it's too long, you know? Maybe, you maybe cool. it's too long. And you don't ever want to have her in a situation that, you know, she's going to get hurt. But I just want her to know that I'm there. Let's make good decisions, okay? Okay, so I'm gone for several days. Whilst I'm gone, I would like to Sometimes know... I forget how high Joe Frost's voice is. I'm gone. It's better. I'm gone, but you know, I... For several days. Okay, so I'm gone for Very high, you know, almost Mickey Mouse-like at some points, but in a good way, in a good way. days. Joe Whilst Mouse. I'm gone, Mickey Frost. I would like to know who's going to be doing chore buddies. Uh, this right. family have certainly got some challenges whilst I'm gone for several days. There's no two ways about that. Mum and Dad, discipline. Follow through, follow through, follow through. The biggest struggle I think I'm going to have once Joe is gone is the tantrums. I will say the, the mom, right, like she struggles with disciplining and parent. She does seem very sweet and just overwhelmed. She obviously did in a sense, put herself in this predicament by admitting she just wanted more kids. But, like, uh, she's, you know, clearly, like, a, a nice woman that is just, just I don't know, maybe just didn't ever really figure it out. I'm out. So I'll give her, you know. I, I know it's something I need to this do. This family, the happened. dad, super weird vibes I'd on that like comment. But Kesley besides that, there was down at the movies some positives friends, to this family. Drop off, pick up, and having some fun, all right? But once again, the dad is now sus forever. Bruh. You just forever. I don't know, Chad. What the hell can you like? Now I'm just gonna do this every time I see him. Yeah. 
I am a little nervous about not having her around, but it's a learning curve. And I'm once I'm Joe leaves, everything hits the fan. It's certainly going to. It all changes when Joe leaves. For Dad to keep himself on an even kill and to control that temper. Yeah, the soul patch is not helping. It's a perfect emo, Jamie. Oh. Okay, hold on. We got a better display of the fruit here. The I get what they're doing. They're trying to angle it different, but like it looks terrible. The the fruit. It could. You don't even need the fruit. I'll tell you what. You don't need any of it. Just give me the table. It's a nice table. To me, fake fruit like grapes and stuff. It reminds me of kids stuff. Like you know, like I wanted to eat fake grapes when I was younger because I was a kid. Not good. Shouldn't shouldn't probably ever do that. Hi. Hi. I've been away for several days and I am very curious to see. Brian has the, the best emotes out of the Camboy. Grunge, thank so you. That is a huge compliment to, to me. So, first one we're going to so look thank at. Thank you very here. much. I tried a lot to craft trust? some of the good ones. A lot of Etsy. A lot of and creative Leslie. people on Etsy that are so Here's freaking money. Enough money there to pay for the movies and get something to snack on. Okay. I love All you. right. You guys have a good time. Tell, tell, what's her name? Tesla? Wow. Wow. It is pandemonium. Kesley's like a celebrity. Look at this. It's like an O2L meet and greet. There you go. Look at that. They're going to have a good time. Going to the mall. How many times did you circle that car park? I know. <laughs> I drove pretty slow out of there. I can tell you that much. Oh, you must She's have. sweet. But you did it. Did. You did do it. And so what happened? It was great. When she got home, she came in my room and she sat there and talked with me on about her whole night and what happened. The fact that she come into your room, now that behavior is so normal. Now, if she goes out and she starts to go straight into her room, that's when you can switch on that little aware button and think, oh, I wonder if they think it's okay. So you can start to read your teenagers and understand, you know, that maybe something's slightly off. So we're gonna move on to chore buddies. I need you All to right, let's see how the chores, chores then goes yeah, without Joe here. Why don't you pick up I just searched it, and each family gets fifteen hundred for being on the show. Fifteen hundred, bruh. I thought they'd get at least ten G's or something. You know, you got six kids, man. Fifteen hundred—that's like, that's like groceries for the month. Up now, while he's eating, and then he can vacuum, and then you can trade off. And start your chores. Although they are getting free help from John, I will say that. Is priceless. Yeah, what's happening here? Oh, Landon, just wanting to play with things, and sisters were busy working. Exactly, and he knows. Don't worry, I'll just sit back a little bit. He's great at stalling the situation. Perhaps I'll get to sit that while my sisters do all the work. You know what's interesting? The dad, when he talks about land, when they talk about Landon in a negative way, the dad kind of just laughs. But when when it's the daughters, the dad is not laughing. And you could tell that they're, you could just, you know, you know. God, I, I guess he's trying to find himself. Like, it's like, oh, Landon. Himself a girlfriend and a wife like that at the end of the day as well, right? Okay, we need him as a 21st century man. What we can do is encourage <coughs> Kendall to do her bit ah. and say, leave. Look, I haven't sneezed in three or four days. His share. Okay. And then you can say to Landon, look, if you're going to do this with your look, sister at the same you, time, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. or you're going to end up having to yeah, do it. Yeah, there's definitely misogyny later. going on there. Because at the moment, know. we've got him sitting on his hiney thinking that he's going to get away with doing it and his sister's going to pick up thank the pieces. Thank you, chat, for the blessing. So we're going to move straight on to mum discipline here. Marin, look at me. Touch that one more time. This is your warning. I will put you to bed early tonight. She touched Ooh. it. Okay, that's Ooh. it. You're gonna go to bed early. You're going to bed when the babies go to bed at 7:30. Oh, what happened? Mary, look me in the face. Oh, Bambi just flipped over. It would have been great if she wasn't, but Bambi, can you hear us? Oh, can you see us, Bambi? What are you doing? Come on over, say hey. Oh, look at Bambi. I switched. I switched because she was upside down, and then she flipped over. It was very cool first. Mm -mm -mm. Saz Bushy Bros, thank you for gifting us up to Jerrica. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. And I'm then, of course, Cooper Look at me. is I'm focused Give me the remote right now. I'm playing. Any of I you guys have that Wii remote? Wow. Wow. Wii remote before. Wow, 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 wow. We remote before remote right now. Where it is the wheel where you put the Wii remote in it. I used to. 
use this like more than my car. I think I was trying to just drive better with this wheel thing than I used to with my car when I was playing anything on the Wii. It's a real struggle for me to say Wiimote. I mean Wii Remote. I have to just remember to say Wiimote because Wii Remote is too hard for me to say. Yeah. Mario Kart with that, fantastic. I'm if you figure it I'm out. I'm not gonna wrestle you, Marin. You're gonna hand it to me. No, it's too it's too late for that. Okay, you let go of this right now. Uh oh, Marin, this is not go going great, room, chat. Or you're gonna go to bed early every night this week. Okay. Every night this week. The discipline is still in a place where you're fighting mm -hmm. for that authority. When you actually started to fight for that computer piece that she was holding, you should have very clearly demanded for her to turn around and look. And when she refused to do that, you should have then told her that if she didn't look at you, you were going to turn the computer off. Okay. So you're taking control of the situation. You do not need to fight for a steering wheel. Right. Because this is what happens. You're I still don't trust him. Still don't trust him. I don't know. So angry with her by this stage mm -hmm. that you've then given her an unrealistic discipline. You've said, you turn around, otherwise you're going to go to bed early every day this week yes. because I'm so mad with you that I'm going to put That's you to like... bed every day. It's Monday when you said this. <laughs> She'd be lucky if that lasts till Wednesday. And then basically, you've shown your child there and then right. that you didn't mean what you said. We need to concentrate more on our focus, definitely. Focus, big time. It's okay. funny watching the show because I'll be like, 100%. I'm not a parent. What the hell am I? <laughs> Let's take a look at Dad's tone. Get up. Eat your lunch. I'm not Let go of her hot dog. Are you, are you three years old? No. Then stop it. Do not throw food at the table. I don't know if what I could do, I really don't know if I could do that chat every day. I don't know if I have it in me. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could, if, that, if that's lunch every day, I don't know if I could do that. It's just too, just it's so draining. Identifying when you're losing it, what did I you just, just do? I just don't think I have the oh, personality, I don't know. Man. Your body language so speaks absolute volumes. I'm angry because this is happening, and you know what, that's happening. Six kids is so many to and handle, man, yeah. that, especially when you're not oh. prepared like this. I need, I need to check myself here. If you're aware of it, you can change it. You can change it. Well, that was a good quote. If you're aware of it, you can change it. Also, random, but I had a. I wrote this down the other day. It's very simple, but I thought it was a good uh, quote. It said, When you don't ask, the answer is always no. And I wrote that down because I want to start asking more questions. What was that? Why would you do that? No, I told you go up to your room. You're not going to be down here. I did not. It's absolute I wanted you to show chaos me in this house you said you were for done. no reason. Not. Nothing go back is even up happening. To your room, finish it. That was rude. Don't ever just slam your books like that. That was kind of dumb. What? Uh-oh. What? Not the bald oh. head smack. Sometimes you're losing it and sometimes you're holding it together. When you realize you need to vent it out. Go out in the backyard and talk to yourself. Hmm. You make decisions. Am I going to behave like this or am I going to behave like that? Okay. And then come back in. It will help you with your tone. So, we're not done yet. We've still got work to do, as you know. I always work okay. together. So, let's get on and uh, carry on with our work. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. I love the portable DVD player. Dad has made a lot of progress, keeping that temper under control. Progress. However, would he be able to promise his family that he could do so? Damn, he got the dogs out, chat. Pop's got the dogs barking. After I'm gone. The dogs out in front of Joe. Something so small be so intimidating. <laughs> I'll leave you up here. All right. I realize there's a lot of things I want to tell my family, and there were a lot of things that I probably wish I would have said a long time ago. We're all gathered here today as a family because Dad has done something very special. He gave you all a message. All right, are we all ready? I'm so glad for this opportunity to see me as you see me. And I can tell you that... Kesley is the one of the daughters. I haven't been very happy 
with the things that I've seen. I guess the biggest question, you know, is what kind of dad do I want to be? All too often, I'm very quick to jump to conclusions or to allow myself to become angry. I don't know if they need to um, play this in front of, like, the three-year-old in a sense, you know, and maybe, but... I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they do. Each of you. Kesley, how mature and responsible you are. And Kendall... He's doing I'm a reality house confessional. And I'm sorry for butting heads with you all the time. Marin, you're my little teddy bear. Landon, I hope... I'm sorry you got the crap kicked out of you yesterday. That I will... Have done a good Landon, enough. you big Landon, ah, he don't care. You do whatever you want, Landon. Ah. Stop that you will likewise be a good father to your own children and to my little ones, Ainsley and Avery. You are two of the very best little girls in the whole world, and I'm so proud of how you are growing up. And I would like to Ooh, tell did, did I miss life. someone that died? Why do I keep missing huge information? Can someone chat tell me who passed away? I'll tell you what, from the virginity thing to this, I'm missing two big pieces. His oldest daughter? I see, okay. I only hope that one day soon I can become that husband that you have always deserved. I love you all. Okay, there you go. No. Hold on a second. Wait a sec. What's going on here? What we got a lot of smiles being covered up. <laughs> They're like, man, what the hell? Any thoughts on what Dad's had to say? Honey, what? The th wait. Hold on. The thirteen-year-old ends up dying in twenty eighteen. Hold on. Kesley, in th this show, the girl Kesley dies. In 2018? You're f kidding. What? From from drug addiction? Over she overdosed? That is absolutely madness. No way. Whoa. Wow. That's that's insane. I don't even have to say to that. That's so sad. Shit. I get how. Yeah, I wonder how old she was because this came out. This probably came out in. I just never know. I'm, it says 2004 to 2012. It never knows what it says. So it might look like it's filmed on a potato. I like that. Dude, rest in peace to Kesley. That is really that's genuinely sad. That's a huge bummer. Did you need to hear what he said? She was twenty two. Yeah. Okay. This came it out in two thousand five. Damn, dude, that is that is brutal. That, that is brutal. That really needed to see. That's so it sad. Really does care. That's so sad. An absolutely fantastic job. These kids learnt today through example how they too can express their feelings and be okay with whatever emotion they're feeling because their dad did that today. You know, I've got to take my hat off to him. Well, I'm not going to make another single joke to the end of the episode at this point because, damn, that was, that's some Jojo's crazy information. This There's only about a minute left here, Chad. A little chat. bit of love. So. <laughs> Excellent. Look at this. I can now interact with my That's a good gift. That's thoughtful. Having this authority. I know for a fact Joe has that somewhere in her house. I know for a fact. Guaranteed. Yeah, I, Still to this day. The best thing with having Joe is that she's been able to help our family with our problems. It's really nice. Gosh, thank you so much. It's been such a great experience, and it's given me that hope that um, my kids are going to listen to me. And I'm going to be able to get through my days and go to bed without all of these overwhelming feelings. Joe has been a major blessing to our family. She does it every time. She finds a way. I'm telling you, she's super, she's super human. They have done all the hard work and the preparation to maintain the change that's happened over the last two weeks. And for that, I wish him the best of luck. Damn, dude. 
Well, I mean, it was a great episode, but that's such sad info. Rest in peace to Keza. That is, that is a bummer. Seriously. 